Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, um, probably quite a few videos you're gonna watch. I'm recording for the next day or two and I cannot get my camera to work and I have to shut down, which is not something I can do with all my tabs pulled up and ready to go. So I apologize, but I'm gonna have to be in this circle for the next few videos. Um, thanks for being here, thanks for watching. I share videos on bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. This is a part of my bread and butter series. I have 24 bread and butter bolos coming your way, items you can buy low and sell for decent margins. Most of these items have sold for $30 or less. So they're easier to find items that typically sell quickly. So we are gonna get right on into the screen sharing and I'm gonna show you what sold. All right, so the first item, let me close out that. Okay, the first item is this American Girl Llama, and it's a plush animal. I picked this up in an American Girl lot at a garage sale, so I probably got about a dollar in it, and I sold this for $17.60, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this 1997, it's vintage, they're Play School Mr. Potato Head refrigerator magnets. I actually got two sets, and I believe they were a dollar each at a garage sale, or maybe it was two dollars for the set, but it came to like a dollar for each listing. And I sold these for $22 plus shipping, so definitely be on the lookout for these super cute Mr. Potato Head refrigerator magnets. The next item I sold are these Mickey and the Roadster, Roadster Racers. I believe these came out of a mystery box. And I sold these for $15.84 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Harry Potter bobblehead. I cannot remember if this was a mystery box or I just picked it up at a garage sale with a bunch of toys. I apologize, but I probably had a dollar or less in it. And I sold this for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's the Harry Potter uh, bobblehead. It's the three-headed dog figure. Okay, so this is kind of funny. Um, I can't remember where I got this. It was either a garage sale or a mystery box or something. Um, I like to buy toys in bulk, so you just never know. And sometimes they sit around for a while. But this is a Yowie, and it's a salamander. And when I looked this up, there were some high solds. And I'm like, that is so weird. But it sold for somebody, I had it on auction for $9.99 because I was like, hey, I'm just going to try and auction this. And somebody sent me an offer of $12 plus shipping and I'm like, you got it. So I sold this for $12 plus shipping. And you guys, he's teeny tiny. Isn't he cute? The next item I sold is this Pink Panther from 1980. I picked him up at a garage sale for a buck. He's 15 inches long. He has his original tag. He is new old stock. How cool is that? And I took a best offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I picked up at a thrift store and it was like, I think I have a video on it. It was like a bag of plush and Christmas toys. And I, I honestly wasn't even thinking that I wanted this. And then I looked it up and I'm like, oh, comps on that aren't too bad. It's a vintage Disney puff -a lump Winnie the Pooh hanging pillow. And I sold this for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Disney on Ice mermaid. Um, she is new with tags. I think she was a dollar at a garage sale and I sold her for $19.36 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Sonic City Airport. It's um, an interactive like, uh, playset and there's like magnets on the bottom of the cars and I had trouble actually finding this um there wasn't another one that was an airport but there were some other ones and I found out that it was called Sonics uh, I believe this was a thrift store find and I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping the next item I sold is this little vintage three inch Kermit the Frog figure he can stand or sit and I sold him for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And honestly, I can't remember where I got him, but I probably paid a dollar or less for him. The next item is this Moana, I think is how you say it, 
Um, they're like figures. You can put them on cakes um, as a cake topper, but these are heavy duty toys. And I typically, gosh, I think I've gotten a couple sets from garage sales and I think I picked up a set at a thrift store. So I'm not sure which set this is, but I usually pay like a couple bucks for them. And I sold this for $18 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Playmobil Christmas and it's new old stock. I picked this up at a garage sale. I did pay $5 for this and I sold it for $17 plus shipping. The next item are these Barbie Fashionista clothes. It's a lot of four. They're new old stock. Um, and you can see, you know, they're not super, super old, but they're not modern, I wouldn't say. And I sold these for $25 in the buyer paid shipping. And I picked these up at a thrift store. No, I'm sorry, not a thrift store. I was looking at my phone because I just got a notification and I got sidetracked. Um, garage sale and it was a bulk buy of tons of toys so i probably got a couple bucks in all of them the next item i sold is this uh it's a toy train by tommy car it's 2010 uh luderum luderum toy train i don't know what that means i don't know if that's like the train name of the train or what but you can see right there that's what it says on the bottom and i sold this for ten dollars and fifty six cents and the buyer paid shipping Ooh, I sold something. And I believe this came from a garage sale and a lot of trains that I picked up. The next item I sold are these Empire Horse minifigures. And I either got these at a garage sale or a thrift store, but it was a bunch of horses. Oh, this was a garage sale. I do remember now. I got a whole tote of like um, horse figures. And it was a really great deal at a garage sale. And I sold these for $12.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. This guy is a Fisher Price Imaginex DC Super Friends brown clay face with the hammer and the hammer comes off. If you see this guy, pick him up. He definitely is a bolo. He sells pretty quick and he sold for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping and he came from a garage sale and I think he was like a buck. The next item came out of a mystery box. This is an Elmo medical kit. It's like a doctor with Cookie Monster and the Sesame Street characters. And I sold this for $20 in the buyer paid shipping. This guy came from a garage sale. It's a vintage Hasbro Lost World Jurassic Park baby T-Rex with um, hatchling. And he comes in an egg and I did not have the egg. And he still sold for $15.48. Buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Briar Horse. This came from a thrift store. I believe it was a dollar. Um, it's from 2007. It's a walking horse and it's new in the original packaging. And I sold this for $14.99 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Barbie Fashionista doll. And a subscriber bought this. And I appreciate your purchase if you're watching. And this sold for $13 in the buyer paid shipping. And I can't remember where I got that. Probably a garage sale. The next item I sold is this Furby and it's from 1999 and it's the pretty teal aqua color, but it is not working. No sound. Um, it does move, but no sound. So I just went ahead and did an auction and I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. It still had the original tag and it's one of the Furby babies, by the way. And it sold for $16. It had 10 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So I was happy with that. The next item is the Spirit DreamWorks Wowie Mountain Lion Cougar Animal Toy Figure. And this sold for $12.75 and the buyer paid shipping. So whenever you see a toy like this that, you know, it, it, I've not seen a lot of these. And it said DreamWorks Spirit so I just looked it up and comps were pretty good. And to me, if I can sell an animal toy figure for $12 and 75 cents that I probably paid around a quarter for, I'm all in. So definitely be on the lookout for these little figures. And yeah, it takes some time to look them up, but sometimes it's worth it. This came from a garage sale. I think I paid a dollar for her. She did have this thing on her cheek and I don't think it's supposed to be a mole. I think it's a defect and her nose was a little bit dirty. 
but uh, she sold for $17 in the buyer paid shipping. She is a baby small talk Cinderella doll and she was not in working order. So um, yeah, $17 plus shipping. Maybe somebody just wanted the dress. Who knows? Because the dress was in good condition. And here's another lot of the Moana Disney toys. And I sold these for $21.25 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, that concludes this bread and butter bolo video. These items are cross posted on Mercari and Poshmark and they sold faster on eBay. So definitely go check out some of my Poshmark and my Mercari Bolo videos. That'll help show you guys some of the things that I'm selling on other platforms. And definitely think about cross posting if you're not. Um, I use lists perfectly to cross post. There should be a video popping up here in a minute. If you guys have not checked out that, definitely check out list perfectly. It's a, um, I don't know if you wanna call it a software. It's something you download and it helps you cross post. I need to figure out exactly what it's called but it's a cross posting service, which is amazing. I've been using it for over a year and I love it. And um, if you use Bolo Buddies coupon code, Bolo Buddies, all one word, that will get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And that is an affiliate coupon code, Bolo Buddies, one word. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Please put any comments you have down in the vid uh, video comments. And if not, just say hello. That helps the channel and it helps me in the algorithm. If you guys just uh, shoot me a comment, I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching.